I'm going to scale this down a little bit. So I'm just going to move this over. No big deal. Scale this down a little bit. I'm going to hit escape twice. I'm going to pick on that raster image again. And then um, I'm going to rotate it. And if I double pick, I can zoom to a specific place or I can orbit freely. So if I pick on it again, um, I can rotate it. So I just want to rotate that. So something pretty simple. And then again, I'm going to scale it down just a little bit more. And we're going to move it over. So one of the beauties of working with The idea of raster is the idea that you can shrink wrap. So I'm just going to rotate this just a little bit more to get it close to um, what that road is like. And then I'm just going to zoom in on it. So when I pick on it, you can get a feel for and right click and say place by reference points. So <clears throat> when I select place by reference points, I'm just going to zoom in on this and double pick this corner of this building and it snaps to my actual image and I'm just going to double pick on this building and then I'm going to look for another reference point so some really quick things that you can do so I'm going to zoom in up here and I'm going to pick on my other reference point so I'm just going to double pick here and you can see I can move this over in terms of this and double pick and hit enter and just some really quick stuff that you can do with this TIFF image. So I'm just going to zoom back out and that's looking pretty good. So what I want to be able to do because I talked about design roads in terms of transportation, I want to create a simple component road. And for all intents and purposes, I'm just going to say it's going to be a two lane road. But if we look over here, we can see we have like a cross section here with a boulevard in here, but we're going to address that. But I just want to get across the idea of how simple it is to be able to address just a, a simple road. So we'll say two lanes <clears throat> and we'll pick on this point and we'll just, just kind of get it close because we can move things around. And there's a, and you can see it's set for 70 miles an hour, but we can make that 40 miles an hour and it changes my curve radius. So it's based upon ASHO standards, and I'll just come straight through here, and I'll just pick this point, and I'm just going to go a little bit quicker, and then I'm going to come up, and I'm going to double pick this point right here. So I'll make it simple. So and then <clears throat> when I pick on my image, I can change the opacity of my image in terms of where it's at, and you can kind of see that I'm kind of really close in reference to this image. Okay, so I really don't need that image anymore. Um, I can remove, so I'm gonna remove that. I'll select yes. So I'll remove that image and there's my road. So I, w I went a little beyond, so I'm gonna just come back. And I'm just gonna pick that point right there. That gives me that intersection. And for all intents and purposes, um, I can right click and add data. Also can utilize drainage in terms of my road. Also can create a cross section view and a profile view. So when I turn my screen up, just as an example, you can see it's got stationing. So it tells me specifically what stationing I have. So I'm just going to move that up a little bit. And if I right click on that, it's showing me actual curve in there. So I can create a few things here and I'm just going to flip right back. And again, if I pick on it, I can drag over, no big deal. 
So we have the ability to grip edit and add in curve and other data. So one of the things I want to quickly want to be able to do just to kind of show you is I'm going to zoom in on this. I'm just going to move this over just a little bit more here just to kind of get a feel for where we're at on the site. And one of the things I want to be able to do is with component roads, um, we can see that I picked on that and I can just go into my analysis and select profile view. So you have to think about what that takes with Civil 3D in terms of bringing that data in. So with Civil 3D to create an existing ground profile, it's going to take some time. And I can come here and change what I want to be able to do in terms of adding PVIs and things like that. Uh, I'm removing PVIs just to get that above ground. I can come right here. I can add curve properties. So I can do a lot of flexibility in terms of working with my road design. So when I pick on this, uh, one of the other beauties that um, that you are able to utilize within InfoWorks is you can select profile optimization. And it will do specifically, I'm going to close that. Specifically, it's going to prompt me for my road design. So there's my road. And from that road, it grabs my design speed. If I tell it 40 miles an hour and it's a road component, I can tell it to optimize that road. And then on the advanced settings, I can tell it hold my PVIs. I can tell it specifically my drainage grade that's required, minimum PVI spacing. I can also put in quantities so it can give me the best um, optimization of the profile for my road design. So to be able to take that from concept into Civil 3D gives great value 